Assalamu alaikum you are watching code in minds here is c++ output determination part 3 so the code is on your screen you can pause the screen and give it a try so now let's see the output so you can see the first return value is true means 1 so the second the floating variable return value false and the value returned by x and b variables are 0 and 65 if you guessed this right that's excellent and if you don't keep on watching so the value stored by integer variable has 4 bytes in the memory and value stored by a uh, character variable has only a single byte in the memory uh, so uh, there will be only a 0th index for the character variable so I replace the 0th index of integer variable with the 0 index of character variable so they will both become equal that's why it return true in the second part in the value assigned a floating point assigned value to the floating point variable is not accurate all the time if you assign 11 and 11 then it will return true so in the third part you can see there's a variable declared and then then uh, now there is and operator is used in the uh, between two um, variables operands so it will return a single value and this will check whether this is true or false in this case and operator works with one to one true so any condition any operand false mean the whole value is false so the false zero will return to the x and uh, because of this whole becomes false this part will not execute and here uh, the value of b has been replaced in this part so the value of b will be 65 and well there are two more lines on the screen uh, have you ever tried this uh, see out the scene value and if you are familiar with the C language then you know about printf and scanf well first about this line that it will return the address of C in mean the value entered by the user the address of that value will be returned to the C out and in this function in this line when this line executes uh, the scanner function executes and it will allow the user to enter value but uh, whatever value is entered by a user it will not print that it will return just only one because scanner function indicates a successful um, value entered by the user where a single successful value entered by the user and it is giving a random error uh, because it doesn't work on visual studio but it will work on dev c++